It's official. Sydney is experiencing the wettest year on record, with three months still left in the year. Other parts of Australia are also experiencing record rainfall, and there's currently flood warnings across Eastern Australia, and more rain is coming. So how much wet weather have we had this year? This graph shows how much rain Australia received from January until the end of September. Parts of southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales are also already seeing the highest yearly rainfall on record. And most of the country is also experiencing very much above average and above average falls. In Sydney, this bar shows where the previous record for rainfall stood in 1950 at 2,194 millimetres. Sydney's rainfall for this year hasn't just scraped in to beat this record, it has smashed it. And with a third La Nina event underway, the amount of rain we'll receive this year will continue to climb. But the main driver of rainfall for the next two months will be from what is known as the Indian Ocean Dipole. The Dipole is currently in a negative phase, which means warmer ocean waters closer to Australia's northwest coast is creating more moisture for rainfall. This map is the rainfall outlook from October until the end of this year. It shows above average rainfall is expected for almost two thirds of Australia. And more rain usually means. This year there's already been three major flooding events in New South Wales and one in Queensland that claimed the lives of 18 people. And so that rain is falling on rivers and soil that are already saturated and dams that are already full. This graph shows the height of the Hawkesbury rivers in Greater Sydney for this year compared to flooding classifications. The three peaks show where the height of the river reach during the past three major flooding events. And this is where the height of the rivers are sitting today. The past week has seen an alarming number of flood warnings across New South Wales. And the Bureau of Meteorology has said some rivers in New South Wales are still yet to peak. This map by the Bureau shows river conditions across New South Wales as of the 10th of October. The red cone means there is major flooding. As you can see, many of the gauges across inland New South Wales are already experiencing minor, moderate or major flooding. There is also minor and moderate flooding in Victoria and in Queensland. This La Nina event may peak during spring and return to neutral conditions in early 2023. And at this point, thankfully the Bureau of Meteorology's outlook shows the odds favouring more typical levels of rain towards the end of summer. But until then, governments and communities in flood prone areas are scrambling to prepare for another wet spring and summer. <laughs>